Hey, what's up YouTube? I'm Zeke and welcome to the Dream Green Show. In this episode, I actually added a new position to my portfolio. So I'm gonna be showing you guys my portfolio size and what stocks am I buying this upcoming week. I see a lot of potential in the market on these upcoming weeks. So I'm going to buy a couple of shares of a couple of different companies and explain to you why I'm buying these companies as I'm doing it. So make sure you stick all the way to the end of this video so I can show you guys what new positions I'm adding to my portfolio this week. But now, this video is brought to you by Weeble. Sign up now by clicking the link down in the description, deposit $100 and receive two free shares valued up to $1,600. All you gotta do is deposit the $100 once you sign up. So that's another way that you guys can add different companies to your portfolio is by getting free stocks. But enough talking, let's go ahead and dive straight into the video. Welcome back YouTube, here we are on my Robinhood account. My account is now at $32,523.58. I am up 1.47% on the day, up $469.57 and $77 in the aftermarket hours. So I had a pretty solid day. Let's take a look at the week. On the week, I am actually down $318.51, down almost a full percent. But on the month, I am up $2,983.68. I am up 10.10%. So I had a pretty solid month so far. So I did a couple of good trades that I'm gonna talk about in this video. So let me go ahead and show you guys what stocks I'm picking up this week. Actually, earlier today when I was looking at the market, I had bought into four different companies. And while I was buying to these companies, I was like, let me wait and get this on camera and save the rest of my money that I'm gonna invest and show you guys exactly Exactly what I'm investing into this week but let me go ahead and show you guys what I have bought already this week off camera and then I'm going to invest into the other stocks live on camera with you guys today so let's scroll down the all right so the first one I had picked up was TNA it is the daily small cap bull ETF fund I now have 73 shares at $34.84 so it's my average cost which is with a market value around $2,854.30 my total return on this company so far is I'm up $310.77. Now, earlier today, I had bought, how many shares? I had bought 10 shares of TNA earlier today. And the reason that I'm investing into this company is, is not because of the dividends, it's that I'm going to eventually do the wheel strategy on TNA because they pay out some pretty sweet uh, premiums on their option calls. So, and once I get to 100 shares, I'm gonna do a wheel strategy series. And I'm gonna show you guys how I create passive income by collecting premiums by doing option calls on TNA. It is passive income at the finest by just utilizing the wheel strategy. So, so I'm around 27 shares off from actually having 100 shares of TNA. So that's the first company that I picked up. Okay, the second company that I picked up was Apple. I seen it had a little dip in the market earlier today and, it's, and it continued to downtrend for the rest of the day. Apple is at $115.08. Right now, I own around 10 shares, a little over 10 shares worth of Apple, and I am currently down $20.38. So I'm gonna to continue to buy into Apple as long as it's under $120 so I can lower my average cost and dollar cost average um, Apple down. If we scroll down earlier today, you can see that I bought let's see I bought $175 worth of Apple so I didn't buy a full share of Apple I just bought $175 worth of Apple and how did I do that is that if, once you hit trade and then hit buy at the top right there's a share button and then if you click that there's one that says buy in dollars so I put $175 worth of Apple the next one that I bought into today was Tesla, ticker symbol TSLA. It had took a major dip this morning and I decided to pick up some uh, shares of Tesla. So right now I own 8.8 .8 shares of Tesla, which is around $3,707. My average cost is $240, so I'm up $1,583.80 on Tesla, up 74%. Now, earlier today, I picked up $175 worth of Tesla at the price of $409.50 and Tesla ended up bouncing back to $420. So I bought in at $409. So yeah, I bought in way at the bottom 
of Tesla today and it ended up recovering. So I've already made profit of me buying the $175 worth of Tesla earlier today. So that was a good time for me to buy in. And then the next company that I bought into today was a company that I have not had inside my portfolio. And I decided to add this company inside of my portfolio. And that company is Johnson & Johnson, tickle symbol J&J. This is an amazing company. They pay out a pretty sweet dividend of 2.72%, and they increase their dividends every single year. I believe they're dividend aristocrats. If not, they could be dividend kings. That mean they increase their dividends over the last 50 years every single year in there and they are inside the S&P 500. Now the reason I picked up J&J is because I could see in the medical industry I could see them if there is a vaccine coming out anytime within the next two or three years they're going to be the ones that provide the tools and the needles in order to provide the vaccine for the pandemic that's going around and around the world right now so johnson and johnson i'm trying to get in early on them now and they're also an amazing company to invest into now if we look at them on the year chart they have recovered from the pandemic news earlier in the year when it had dipped all the way down to 119 dollars and they have recovered and they're up on the year 11.41 percent so they did eventually recover from the bad news of the pandemic when when the stock market had pretty much crashed when the pandemic news had came out so yeah i picked up one share of johnson and johnson at 146 dollars and 73 cents and i'm going to continue to add into my j and j position until i eventually hold around 10 shares of johnson and johnson now the next company I'm gonna invest into is PEY. This is another company that pays out sweet dividends. They have a dividend yield of 5.03%. Right now it has 62 shares. I eventually wanna get PEY to 100 shares as well. So let me go ahead and pick up a couple of shares of PEY. Uh, I'm going to pick up, I'm gonna hit buying shares, five shares of PEY, hit review and swipe up. There we go. So when the markets opens on Monday, I should have 67 shares of PEY. Let's go to the next company. The next company I'm going to buy is Realty Income, the monthly dividend paying stock. This one I own seven shares of O. Oh, it is a real estate REIT, so they do have a pretty sweet dividend of 4.66%. The market cap is $20.96 billion. And on the year they are down right now, let's see. The all-time high on the year was $82 and they're slowly recovering. It's gonna take a very long time for the real estate uh, market to recover. So I'm picking up a couple of shares now while the real estate market is down. So I'm gonna pick up one share of Tickle Symbol O, Realty Income. Hit review and swipe up. All right, the next company I'm gonna pick up is Netflix. If we're looking at the week chart, they are down 10%, well, 9.07%. They had an earnings call that came out and I like what Netflix got planned for the future. The only reason that it's dropping is just that their subscriber count growth is not growing as fast as it has been growing over the last couple of months due to everyone being home over the pandemic their growth rate has slowed down but they have things in place to where they're pretty much going to break even next year and the, i'm getting into netflix right now i'm going to buy netflix right now before they announce the next season of stranger things when stranger things get announced a lot of more people are going to subscribe right back to netflix just so they can watch that series so let me go ahead and invest around 175 dollars work into netflix i'm going to hit buy change it to buy in dollars 175 dollars hit review and swipe up i absolutely love netflix now I wish I had more Netflix. I own 2.3 shares, uh, average cost $398. I am up 22%, $206. I just wish Netflix paid out a dividend, but hey, if you're taking that money and reinvesting it back into your company to where you could grow your company faster, bigger, and stronger, go ahead, by all means, go ahead and do that for me. And now I'm gonna invest into just one more company this week. All right, the last company I'm gonna pick up is AT&T. You guys probably guessed it. I'm going to continue to invest into AT&T. I own 17 shares right now, market value of $472.60, but they pay out a good dividend yield of 7.75%. But I am down 13% on AT&T, so I'm going to dollar cost average down on AT&T. My average cost is $32. Well, right now, AT&T took a hit today. Although they had a pretty good week, they had a pretty good earnings call. They're up 1.3% on the week. So I'm going to go ahead and buy one, two shares of AT&T. 
hit buy and shares, hit two, and review and swipe up. And there we go, I bought two shares of AT&T. All right guys, there we go. That is everything that I bought this week. Uh, let me know down in the comment section which, which stocks did you guys pick up this week? Where did you see at a good value? Or what new IPO companies, what brand new companies that are coming out to the stock market are you looking at investing into? Or throw me out some suggestions of what I should buy this week down in the comment section. Let's have a, a conversation down there. And while you're down there, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button on this video. It helps out this channel more than you can even imagine. Also, subscribe so that you don't miss out on any future videos. But other than that, I'm Zeke, bringing you the Dream Green Show, and I'm out. Peace.